Welcome back or welcome to my channel, you guys. So today I'm going to be showing y'all how to bleach knots with exact measurements so you get the consistency right every time and don't over bleach on a bunch of wigs like I did when I was learning how to bleach knots because my consistency was too runny or whatever the case may be. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to start with my L'Oreal Quick Blue Bleach. I got this from the beauty supply store. All the bleach buckets come with this little scoop inside. So I'm taking one scoop full of the bleach powder and I'm dumping it in my mixing bowl. I got this from the beauty supply store as well. And I'm taking my Superstar 40 volume developer, the cream developer. You can use whatever brand developer you want, but I'm taking one scoop full of that as well. So basically equal parts of both. The developer is from the beauty supply store too, by the way, you can find all the products I use at the beauty supply store, but you're just gonna mix that up really well. I'm just using the brush that I use to paint the bleach onto my wig with. You can use the same thing or you can use a spoon, whatever. But that's what I'm gonna use and just like I said mix it up really well make sure everything is evenly incorporated I forgot to say this is my first step but make sure you put on gloves and a mask first okay this stuff is strong do not be breathing this stuff in avoid getting it on your skin don't play around put on your protective gear okay so once you have mixed everything together it should look something like this it should be like icing consistency and I know you probably heard that before but the reason I'm doing this video with the exact measurements and everything because like I said I want y'all to get the consistency right and not everybody knows what icing consistency is is so yeah but it shouldn't be dripping off your brush it should be like stiff peaks you know what i'm saying so yeah once you've done that it's time to brush your bleach onto your knots so i know some people like flip the wig inside out and put it on a canvas head for whatever reason when i do that i tend to get it like on the hair strands i don't know why and i know you're supposed to apply it with a light hand but you do have to apply a little bit of pressure in order for it to go through on the other side of the lace just to cover the knots not to get on the hair strand but when i do that it will always get on the other strands and i would spray my hair with like got to be I did the same thing here by the way so make sure you spray the actual hair and hairline with got to be spray and let it dry before you start putting on the bleach but yeah it just always happens so now I just lay the wig on something and just apply it just like this I don't put it on a canvas head and I don't have that problem but yeah like I said you're gonna apply it not press too hard but you know enough for it to go through the lace just a little bit to cover the knot completely and I started with the back of the lace if you notice because for whatever reason the knots back there do not like to bleach like they take forever to bleach so I start back there first and then make my way to the front of the lace but you're just going to do this until all your knots are covered I know it may look like I'm applying a lot of pressure and I'm like pressing really hard and I'm just being really rough and doing the most. I promise I'm not y'all. I think it just looks like that because it's sped up or something, but I promise I'm not being rough. I'm still applying with a light hand, just applying a slight bit of pressure, but yeah. All right, so now all my knots are covered. Um, by the way, I just wanted to show y'all how much product I had left over. The measurements that I gave y'all should be enough to cover a 13 by four lace frontal. I only had like a scoop of product left. So if you have like a closure or something, you might wanna half the measurements. But I'm gonna let this sit for 35 minutes and then I'll come back and wash it off. So the 35 minutes are up. So now it's time to rinse the bleach off and wash the hair. So I'm just flipping the wig inside out and I'm just rinsing everything off. Make sure all the bleach is gone. And don't worry about the bleach like running onto the hair or anything because as fast as it's getting on there, it's as fast as it's coming off. You're rinsing everything off. So it's not gonna bleach the hair or anything if it runs on it. Just make sure you're rinsing everything out and you should be good. Make sure you're rinsing up underneath the combs. If any bleach got on the cap or anything, Thing. just make sure everything is rinsed off be thorough because you don't want to have bleach sitting on there and you didn't know it was there and now your hair falling out of the wig because it's still processing but yeah so now i'm just rinsing through the hair and making sure the hair is saturated so we can get ready to wash it and like i said making sure any bleach that may have ran through is rinsed out as well to wash the hair i'm using this pantene shampoo conditioner you can use whatever brand you want this is just what i had at home and with that shampoo i had to make myself some purple shampoo using the kiss colors magenta and adore blue black because I didn't have any purple shampoo. We're gonna be using this to apply on the inside of the lace to tone the knots, then tone out that orangey, brassy color. Yeah, 
I didn't have no purple shampoo, so I had to get creative, y'all. And just, I mean, I'm assuming that's all purple shampoo is anyway. Y'all just, you know, dyed some regular shampoo. So that's what I did. I put some purple hair dye and some white shampoo and boom, purple shampoo. But yeah, like I said, I'm just putting this on the inside of the lace and I'm also like putting it on the hairline too and just like rubbing it through that area of the hair where any of the bleach was. Like I said, just to tone out that brassy color on the knots. And it just helps make everything look even more natural. So now that I've covered all the knots in purple shampoo, I'm going to let that sit for 15 minutes on the hair and then we'll come back and fully shampoo and condition. Okay, so the 15 minutes are up and I'm just going to rinse out all the purple shampoo. And once all that is rinsed out, I'm just gonna go in with the shampoo and conditioner that I showed you guys already, the Pantene. Like I said, you can use whatever brand shampoo and conditioner you want, whatever is your favorite. Like I said, this is what I had at home. But yeah, you're just going to shampoo and condition as normal. Y'all know how to wash hair, I'm sure. I normally shampoo twice, that's how I wash my real hair. So I do the same thing with my wig. And I condition once, and I let the conditioner sit for a little bit. I like to wash my wigs before I wear them anyway. I mean, of course we're washing it now because we don't put bleach and stuff on the hair, but even if I don't bleach the knots on my wigs, I like to wash my wigs anyway because that's kind of gross for one. And two, if I don't, it breaks my face out really bad. So yeah, but that's all we're doing. I'm just gonna let y'all watch me do this the rest of the way because I'm not even gonna sit here and play y'all like y'all don't know how to wash hair. Y'all know how to wash hair, so I'm not gonna explain it. So, you know, enjoy. Y'all see how less orange them knots look after toning them with the purple shampoo? Yeah. Now I'm gonna let the conditioner sit like I told y'all, probably for like 10 minutes, and then I'm just rinsing it out. All right, y'all, we are all rinsed out and we are all done now. All you have to do is let it air dry. I like to let it air dry. I don't like to put heat on here after I've like processed it and stuff like that. I let it air dry and I save the heat for when it's time for styling and all that. But I try to put as little heat as possible. You know what I'm saying? But this is what the knots are looking like. Very nice. I'm just parting to show y'all. And then after this, I pluck the wig. So this is what it looks like after I plucked it. I always do this after bleaching knots. If y'all want a video on that, just let me know. But yeah, y'all, that is it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope my instructions and measurements were helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, please. And thank you. And make sure your post notifications are on so you don't ever miss when I post because you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. So make sure your post notifications are on and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.